<clears throat> What's up, guys? Devin here, back with another live stream. On this channel, we help men navigate life, travel, finances, and self-improvement. Do remember to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out. Also, guys, don't forget to also follow the private Facebook group, man. As we get together to share our experiences with the world, the link will be in the description below. Again, we have a special guest here, man. His name is Sidaris. And Sidaris, can you actually introduce yourself to the audience? Hey, name is Sidaris Benjamin. Um, right now, I've been to like probably like four or five different countries. And I'm just like a 28-year-old 20 just trying to live life and go to every continent. That's what's up, man. Gotta <laughs> say, everybody's all wanting to know, man. They even they like you, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's it. So, what made you come to Poland? Oh, Poland was just like always on my bucket list. So, like, just because like the history of like World War Two, and like apparently they got like one like the best nightlife in Eastern Europe. So. It was like, all right, I took a week off, went to Poland, now I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to have you back, man. So yeah. what time of the year is best to travel to Poland? That you would I would say go more in the spring, because once a time it's still pretty cold and windy, and not many people are out and about, and everybody just trying to get where they're going. So like, when you try to socialize, during the winter months, it's harder. So springtime, I feel like it'd be like, wait, you get to interact with way more people. Mm. What color are the trees over there for spring? <laughs> green. <laughs> are they still green? <laughs> God, there's like Japan. I think, were they pink? We got the soccer balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so how much money would you think to live comfortably in Poland? How much money to live comfortably in Poland? Poland is pretty cheap. So, I'd say probably like three to four grand a month. Okay. How much would it be just like scrape by? Because there's average guys out there as well who actually want to level up. Yeah. And, and they go to Poland? Not, yeah. <laughs> and they may not have oh. the budget necessary to, to do so. So I'll probably put like 2500 2500 2000 Okay. Mm. That's certainly interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually yeah. never been to Poland. Uh, I'm sure there's someone out there in the audience who's actually trying to go as well. Yeah. Or just curious of actually of the actual country. Yeah, Poland is, is pretty cheap compared to like some Eastern European countries countries so mm. yeah. so how's the food and restaurants over there oh uh, the food is well i can't say it's good like some places are good and then other places are just going by doing like the, the minimum but if you go to a pretty decent restaurant it's going to be good and get around poland everybody walks around poland so public transportation you could take the bus or if it's like within 20 minutes you could walk, which isn't too bad. It's kind of set up like New York, pretty much. Oh, okay. So they have like their own train systems. Yeah, they got their own trains, bus. Uh, what is it? The subway type of thing going. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, they're actually pretty developed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So what do you usually serve in terms of actual restaurants or food there? What's their like main dish? So uh, main dish. Um it's European dishes. So anything like soups, um, some kind of meat like pork or like beef and like either with like a, some kind of bread or fruit. And then like I think the top dish that most people get is like a pariah. Is like like a dumpling. So usually people start start off with one of those and then make their way up to like a soup or something like that. Oh, okay. So what about desserts? 
Have you ever had any desserts there? <laughs> I didn't have any desserts there. No, I'm not big on sweets. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> but it did look good from what I was looking at. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the average food cost over there in Poland? Average food cost. So it's about 10, 10 bucks. Nine, no, that's not like, if you go into like a fine dining re restaurant, it's like 10 to 15 bucks. And then, like, for some of the best food, like, five to eight. So, if you want to go eat cheap and go to somewhere, like, pretty expensive, you still get pretty for pretty low. I mean, I got, like, a whole, like, a salmon meal and stuff for, like, probably, like, 13 bucks. <laughs> so, how's the nightlife over there? Oh man, nightlife in Poland is like, that's probably like the best thing. You got, cause this is probably like the first time I've ever been out and stayed all the way out to like five o'clock in the morning. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like you got everybody from like all the neighboring countries come to Poland just to party. <laughs> so you got people from like the UK, Ukraine, Austria, uh, Germany, Belarus, um, who else I met? France. There's a lot of people from France that come to Poland to party. And, like, the alcohol prices are pretty cheap. A beer is, like, a dollar. And I get, like, a mixed drink. It's probably, like, two dollars. So you get a couple of those. Wow, I, I never knew that, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that either, Tom. <laughs> wow. Because it, it is definitely interesting that you actually can meet many people from different cultures over there. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that when I first got over there. I was like, all right, I'm just coming here to meet people from, like, Poland. Well, I'm getting the club, meet people from, like, France, UK, Austria, Germany, Belarus. Yeah, mm. definitely add Belarus to your list. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how's the fashion sense over there? It's European, so it's like... They still, they dress to the press. It's like, like, it's like pretty much everybody dressing like a, a runway model pretty much. So anyway, from like the heels, um, either skinny jeans, dresses, um, polos, or like a sweater mix, sweat, sweater type of shirt mix, something like that. So. Oh wow! All right, this is this is a really good question. I know the audience want to know this one, man. How are the women there in Poland? Oh, the women are amazing, but the downfall in Poland is like well, I went to Warsaw, so apparently in Warsaw, hookup culture is not like really a thing. So everybody's trying to get into a full blown relationship, but. As far as like vibing, like getting and having fun, they are they pretty down for whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Would you say the women there are pretty feminine, masculine, somewhat in the middle? What are your, what are your that, thoughts? I would say somewhere in the middle, because they will let you take the lead, but they will let you know when they don't when they want when they don't want to do something. So, they, they got any points they stand on, and they won't budge from it. Mm. So. What would you say the best places to actually meet these women in Poland? Best place to meet people in Poland or women in Poland? Yeah, women in would, Poland. Okay, I would say anywhere from, like, any place you could go sit down and it's quiet. So, like, a coffee shop in the mall. The park. So if you get them somewhere, like, somewhere, like, where there isn't loud music and y'all can actually have a discussion and talk, then yeah. Mm. So what about the people in general? Where they, where do they usually, like, hang out, would you say? Well, I can see everybody go to, like, um, like a place called Market Street, which is, like, in the old town that was, like, destroyed back in World War II and they rebuilt it. 
So there's a lot of shops and like restaurants over there that a lot of people go to, and also like a lot of tourists and stuff like on the Royal Castle. And like, what else? It's the Royal Castle, some museums, and like it's a train system come down there too. So there's a lot of people coming over there, sightsee, get some food, grab a couple of drinks while you're down there. So. Mm-hmm. So how's the gym culture over there in Poland? Everybody's fit. That's <laughs> 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 it. What? Like <laughs> everybody's fit. Like you might see you I'll say the farthest you can see is like you might see an overweight person, you would never see anybody obese. You won't see obese people just everywhere. You might see occasionally like an overweight person, but usually like I'm say like eighty five percent of the people you're going to see is like in pretty good shape. Oh, wow, man. That's always nice to see, man. <laughs> so would you say these, um, these women are checking for black guys? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah definitely. I, I went to a couple places and they were checking. They just want a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, so man. You, if you're trying to find a wife, go to Poland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. And I was only in Warsaw, so it might be different in Krakow. <laughs> but Warsaw, they, they, they want a relationship with Warsaw. <laughs> mm. So I'm guessing the marriage rate is a lot higher over there compared to the Western world. Yeah. Yeah. Like everybody over in Poland date to get married. So I ran to a lot of married couples, well, a few married couples while in the club. And like they both was buying me drinks. So like I was getting drinks from the husband and the wife. (laughs) 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 Oh, wow. man, That's, That's really interesting, man. Cause I'm learning things as well, man. I'm, I'm sure the viewers <laughs> up there are actually learning something as well, man. But this is actually news to me. Yeah. <laughs> so what about the online dating over there in Poland? I it's know that, good. You know, well, like yeah, I know in the yeah. West, man, so you can just forget it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Like, you can meet people in Poland on Bumble and Tinder, and they meet up with you. Okay. Um, is there like any difference between the online dating there from the West? Uh, uh I want to say it's like if you match with people in Poland, they will message you. Like just like some people in the West have like their whole Instagram, like Snapchat in their bio. They just want you to follow them on Instagram, or Snapchat. They don't really have that in Poland. Matter of fact, I probably saw like a few people with their Instagram in it, and that was it. Mm. Like, is there any like flake rates, high flake rates, low flake rates? <laughs> I'm gonna say low, okay. It might be like one or two that I didn't that I try to like meet up with, but they were just playing around. Because <laughs> I know it can happen, man. It's, it's... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it will at least meet up with you at least one time. <laughs> eight, eight, now I'm 80, 95%. So it's like a oh, low wow. 5%. <laughs> that probably won't flick around. So it's like a 95% conversion rate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm actually on the first encounter. <laughs> so would you say the, the women there speak English or just the people in general? general? Oh, everybody in Europe, well, apparently they speak English. And they speak Russian, and they speak Polish. Mm. Oh, but most of the population there speak English, so you should be able to get around pretty easy in Poland. Yeah, that's probably like one of the top reasons I went there. Cause I was going to like I went to Thailand. Nobody spoke English. Went to Colombia, hardly anybody spoke English. Finally went to Poland. I was able to feel more relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. 
Guys, man, if you're out there, man, do make sure you get that passport, man. Get these new travel experiences. Because they can change your life, man. Open up many doors to succeed as well. Keep investing in yourself and striving forward, man, because no one else can do it but you. Yeah. So, have you had any experiences with um, any rich people over there or a rich, rich woman? Or networking? Poland? There's a lot of rich people in Poland. There's a lot of rich people in Poland. Like, they would buy you stuff, make sure you're good. Like, if they like you, they would definitely buy stuff for you. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, so I feel like. It's the uh, Europe, so you get, you might meet a few rich people in Poland. Just having just on vacation, or just trying to enjoy like a weekend, or they might have a business trip. Mm. So, would you say these women change the Western customs when bringing them back to the United States? Hmm. I don't think so. I don't think so. Once you grow up somewhere, that's like that's not you keep. <laughs> That's something to keep. Unless they just wanted a green card <laughs> and just come to the U.S. But other than that, they come in for you and they, you know they're down for you. They should still be about the same. Yeah. Yeah, I've actually had had story. Well, I heard stories of basically like the process of even, of even getting a green card is actually hard. It is. So I, I don't <laughs> see is. why, why there's really a problem of, with actually bringing them over to the States. That's just me, though. I don't really yeah. see a big, like, hit on them when bringing them here. Like, to bring them to the States, they ain't got to be, like, a student or have a job sponsoring them or getting married. And, like, the U.S. requires so much stuff. That it's, like, it's pretty much hard. Like, they decline by probably, like, 70% of people that apply. <laughs> mm. The U.S. is very strict on who they let in. <laughs> So what visa do you usually do you go to go? Well, did uh, let me think this through. Actually, hmm. I think I know what you're trying to say. Cause like to go to yeah, Poland, what visa did you use? Yeah, like a tour, regular you know, tourist visa. It's like a regular tourist visa. You really don't need a visa. I love you saying under 90 days, you don't need to do the visa process. You can just show up and just show that you have your like your. Your hotel requirements are Airbnb and like your return flight ticket. That's all you need. As long as under 90 days, the visa process, you ain't got to do it. Hmm. So you go spend up to like two and a half months in Poland. What, three? Okay. And just to clarify, it's basically just for the U.S., right? Yeah, just from the U.S. Just for the U.S. citizens. <laughs> yeah, I know there's guys out there who are actually going to be from other countries as well. Yeah. So I wasn't sure if there's like a price on a certain visa to get or whatnot. But you may not you may not know that since you're actually from America. Yeah. But you, yeah. <laughs> <No>. yeah. <laughs> so what's what's the experiences over there with dealing with multiple women at once? You can do it. You can do it. You can definitely do it. But I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> <laughs> These women are very strict on being monogamous <laughs> and, <laughs> and long-term relationships. So if you want to test your luck, go do it. You only live once. You might as well enjoy life. But it's going to be yeah. harder because of how they, the culture there. Okay, I know the moment you said that they're really marriage-minded. Yeah. I mean, right then and there. But I know that some <laughs> of the audiences actually may come in late. So I did want to do that for them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so is there any negative traits for the people there or the woman? A negative trait. So like, unless they interest in you, they probably won't talk to you. So like, you, it's like one of the countries you can't go to and just talk to like random, random people on the street who just walking. They will annoy you and keep on walking. I said, like, if you want to, like, talk to girls or anything like that, 
you just got to like wait till everybody sit it and like in a stable environment. It's just like that cold approach on the street. It's not gonna work in Poland. <laughs> <laughs> nope, cold approach game, man. <laughs> 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 what would you say, like dating apps and just wait for the moment to strike? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Wow. So is there any dangers to be aware of when they're in Poland? Not that I know. Not that I know. Probably like, like your basic crimes. Or like getting a fight at a bar or something. But like I said, I was out to five o'clock in the morning in the club and like my hotel was like 15, 20 minutes away. I'd walk like five in the morning by myself. So it was pretty safe. And you would see like other, even including like females who walk by themselves at five, four o'clock in the morning. Mm. So you actually walk all the way by yourself? You didn't take the train just to try to save? <clears throat> no. No, nah, I walk and then like it's on restaurants that still stay open for like the people that just get out the club. So I go get something to eat, walk back to my hotel. <laughs> 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 so have you ever took in, well you took the train there in Poland? Nah, I, I did it. I was just taking Uber. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, they got an Uber over there. Yeah, they got Uber over there. So it was like easy. But like the train system, because I can't read Polish, I was going to play around with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Mm. So how's their religion over there? Where is it? It's not Catholic. What's the other thing? Is it Catholic? No, it's not Catholic. It's the other one. Kind of like they big on religion. It's like everybody go to church on Sunday. They go to some kind of place. I forgot the name of it, but I'm gonna remember one day. <laughs> Pratt once I get out there. <laughs> <laughs> totally fine, man. Yeah. yeah, cause sometimes we're just not exposed to it as much, so we don't really That's know. It. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So what kind of jobs do you usually have over there in Poland that you see often? So there's usually bartenders, um, doormen, uh, waitresses, waitresses, um, owners, um, barbershops, not barbershops, barbers, um, bakers, uh, baristas, tour guides. Two of grass is enough. <laughs> <laughs> a receptionist. I mean, pretty much got like everything we got. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> so, what about the foreigners if they're trying to get a job in Poland? Where would you? What would you think they would actually try to get? Foreigner. It depends them. what they're good at. Anything was good. Like you probably could work at a hotel. Anything doing like the tourist industry or like service industry, you probably get a job, man. So anything from organs and, and hotels, bars, um, tickets, selling tickets, tour guides. So anything like that. Mm. So do you think they actually require degrees or as long as you have results, relative experience? Just relative experience. If that. <laughs> I met some foreign people from like different countries that just came over and said, like, oh, I just started doing this like a couple months ago. <laughs> <laughs> He's making uh, a move. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So what about the COVID situation? Is there anything related to that? You got to watch out so, for it. Yeah, so the COVID situation in Poland, to get into Poland, you at least need a negative antigen or PCR test within the last 24 hours to enter the country. And you need to have, like, be fully vaccinated and have a, what is it? What's the last part? And wear masks. <laughs> so, but people really didn't enforce, like, the mask 
thing, so you pretty cool with like just going places without the mask. Mm. So would you say mostly people just walking around with mask on? Yeah. Like I feel like say say eighty percent of people have mask on mask. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is actually gonna be a short live stream. So, so Darius, yeah. before we end the live stream, is there any last words for the viewers for who are actually trying to travel to Poland? Poland, go in the spring. Definitely go in the springtime. Winter is cold, people is windy, not that many people. Go in the spring, there's a lot more stuff going on. Check out the museums. And then they even got like, and Poland, big thing is Balka. So <laughs> check out, they got a museum called like a Vodka Museum, so definitely check it out. You don't get drunk, but it's going to be hella fun. Now, also, if you know you like a lightweight and drinking, have a friend or somebody with you so you know how to get home. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> real. real. And then, like, in this some situation in the bar or club, like, people started fighting because they got too drunk. So have a homie with you so they can throw blows with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, but other than that, it's it's pretty cool. Just Google Maps, Uber. It's probably like the apps you're gonna need. They even got Uber Eats over there. What they just, yeah, they got Uber Eats. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so just go over there and have fun. And enjoy it. So, Sedaris, how can people find more about you? Where can so they you follow can, you? So, you can follow me on Instagram at swagger underscore Benjamin93. So, it's S W A G G A underscore Benjamin, B E N J A M I N 93. And you can follow me on Facebook on Sedaris, S A D A R I S, Dante Benjamin. So. There you have it, guys. Make sure to look after yourselves from around the world, and I'll see you guys on the next live stream. Have a good one.